Hey everybody, it's Julio DeSanctis and welcome to Hodgkin's 2 Electric Boogaloo. I'm, I'm getting a, whenever I turn this camera on, I get a good look at my eye and I, I feel like maybe less droopy today, more droopy, hard to know. Um, yeah, it looks kind of shut today. Anyway, uh, the reason for today's video is I wanted to tell you about my PFT from yesterday. PFT, I believe, stands for pulmonary function test or something to that matter. Uh, that is medical speak for trying to get you to hyperventilate and or suffocate you. Um, cause at one point they do quite literally shut off the oxygen in this tiny little cubicle of a space that they trap you in and you get to know what it feels like to have no air for like, you know, maybe a count of five. Either way, it's a little exciting. Uh, you know, gets the heart going, um, <clears throat> And what I got was that my test was administered to me by a Eastern European woman who had a personality slightly less cuddly than Vince Lombardi, let's say, or maybe Bobby Knight, right? She didn't throw a chair at me, but this was all of the stereotypes that you've ever heard about Eastern European people being like cold and uncaring. That's what this was. This woman was rough. And I'm, I'm going to try and do her accent, but I don't really do accents very well. So if it sounds either British or Korean or Southern at any time, just know that she's Eastern European. So um, you go in and they've got this little snorkel type mouthpiece thing. And, you know, but it doesn't have the whole snorkel thing. It's just got the little mouthpiece and it's attached to this machine and they tell you, put your mouth on it. And then you, then they, you put like, um, like swimmers thing on your nose, right? You pinch your nose shut. And then they tell you to breathe normal. Well, already you're at a disadvantage because I, that's not how anyone breathes normally, right? You don't have a big thing in your mouth and you don't have your nose pinched shut. So breathe normal is hard. And then the instructions that she gave me were sort of like this. It was like, uh, okay. You will breathe normally in a in deep. This sounds Latin American, and that's not right either. But it's you. You will breathe normally in deep breaths, and then when I tell you, you will take a deep breath in, and then you go poof, blow out. And I said, "Sorry about that," and I uh, so I did that I, the first time. I I put the thing in my mouth and I breathe normally. You know, it's a normal breathing just in and out of my mouth while my nose is pinched. And then she says, okay, take deep breath in. And I take a deep breath in and she, and then she goes, no, poof, blow out. And I go, poof, right? Poof. That's what she had said. That was with the instructions. Poof. And she freaks out. She's like, what are you doing? I did not tell you to do that. I was like, you told me exactly to do that. You said, poof, blow out. She's like, I meant blow out. Long time, long time, poof. So she said, that test, that test does not count. We will not count that one. You will do it again. I said, okay, I'll do it again. So they, uh, we, we put the thing back on our, my nose and we put my mouth back on the thing. And uh, I, I start to breathe, breathe again. You're trying to breathe normal. But it's hard to breathe normal. You're just breathing through your mouth and you're breathing through like basically a large tube. And she's like, okay, breathe in. Now breathe out. And she's like, you have more air on your lungs. Breathe it out. Push it out. Push it out. It was like I was being yelled at by the Terminator in a lot of ways. Um, it was a lot. And uh, as she kept reminding me, uh, as she said from the start, you have four tests. You will do them three times each. If, and then we will move on. I said, okay, fine. So I did the first test. And she didn't count the first one. She counted the second one. It got to the point where she was yelling at me so much that I was I was trying not to laugh both while I had the thing in my mouth, which I have a terrible gag reflex. So whenever any kind of rubber, um, you know, whatever, any of this medical stuff, I have a terrible gag reflex. I'm, a, I'm, I'm hell for a dentist, um, as, as a dentist who watches this might know. Um, anyway, so we got through them all. She was screaming at me near the end uh, that I wasn't following her instructions. Um, 
the point when they close me in a little, it's, I'm, I'm in a totally enclosed cubicle. It's no higher than my head. It's no wider than my shoulders. I have to actually kind of sit like this um, in order to do this final test. And they literally shut the air off. Um, and the thing that you're, you have your mouth on, nothing is coming or going through. And you have to breathe, you know, not really breathe. You just have to fake breathing four or five times. And she had told me that there was like a little button. There was like a latch where I could unlock the door and get out, right? When I was, but she thought it was when I was done. I thought it was whenever we were done each test, right? So we had to do this thing where I'm basically in a tomb, a glass tomb, three times, three times. This was the fourth test. We're doing it three times. And the very first time I do it and there's no air and you get the like, holy shit, this is what no air feels like moment. And then she was like, okay, you're done. And I hit the button to open the door. What are you doing? What do we are not done? I said, I just want air. I just want to like know what it feels like to be not encased in my, in, you know, in my own tomb. Um, she didn't, she didn't think that was, uh, that that was part of the test or that, that I, that I was supposed to do that. I don't know. Um, again, but all through all this, she's still not as bad as the schedulers. I'll still take a day with her over any time spent with the schedulers, the bane of my existence, the schedulers. And I had a call I, that goes to the last bit. I had a call with the scheduler today where once again, and I figured out why everybody's afraid of her. She's got a very, posh British accent, this woman. And I'm not going to try and do that accent either, but it's very posh. It's very like, you know, uh, you know, private school English kind of accent. And, um, and she once again screwed up, but then this time she blamed my doctor and not me for the screw up. Um, any, anyway, it doesn't matter. All right, that's it for me today. I thought I'd fill you in on that. I did have a uh, echocardiogram today as well. Uh, that was easy. I just had to lay there. And no one yelled at me in any accent. So that was nice. Uh, that's, that's always a bonus when, when the hospital staff um, is, is, you know, is friendly. So, all right. Uh, if you're a PFT uh, tech out there and you want to stand up for this woman, please feel free to put a comment uh, down there and let me know why she was yelling at me like a uh, like an insane uh, high school football coach. Uh, all right. Fuck cancer. Keep fighting the good fight. And I'll be here tomorrow. Bye-bye.